Hey guys, what's up? Now we're here back in another video. So today I am going to be showcasing uh, Narantra. I'm going to be discussing his combos, tips, and counterplay for using slash fighting him in ranked 1v1s. If you are looking forward to the video, make sure you like, sub, and hit that bell because that does help spread my content so other people can see it. And before I get into the video, I do want to give a quick debrief on why isn't this a Mista video? Because I did say the next video was going to be Mista and this is the next video. Um, and the main, my explanation is Mista is not fun for me to, it's, it was, it's just not a fun kit. It's really underwhelming in base because people really, let's, they walk out of pass pass all the time. It's not true into his grab, so people can just roll straight ahead. Even if you use like your one or your three, people just roll immediately towards you and then they can combo you from it. Um, his two has terrible range, it's a guard break. It, he just has so many problems in his base. It's just not fun to use. I really like that the bullets, they're, they're like, I like how they talk throughout the battle. I really like that. Some people don't. They find it annoying, but I really enjoy it. And his ba awakening is really fun. But his base, is, it's, which is the main part of the kit that you're going to be in for most of the time, is just not fun to use, um, especially against any not mediocre player. So I'm just not going to upload a video on him until he gets a buff. Um, so yeah, there's my explanation. And hopefully my quality sounds a, little, a bit clearer. I got a mic and it has a pop filter. Um, before I was just using my headset. So hopefully it sounds a lot clearer now and actually good. So tell me what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. And without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, starting off with his combos, um, you're gonna they're all gonna follow the basic premise, four on ones, wine smash, four on ones, right? Now, there's three moves you can do with this. The first option is gonna be bomb drop, which you should only do if they don't. Okay, so after doing some further testing, I actually found out that, well, the combo you're seeing is the untrue version. You see, I do M1s immediately after wine smash, but in fact, if you actually do M1s into wine smash, bomb drop immediately, it is true, so. There's that, um, back to the video. You have um, your grab fight back. That is something you can do also after you do your um, M1s, wine smash M1s. It, the problem with that is it has a lot, a lot of end leg, like a significant amount. Um, so much in fa fact that if someone has TP dash, they can instantly teleport, well, yeah, and <laughs> they'll be able to get M1s on you. You can't do anything about it. So if you're facing someone who has TP dash, do not do um, fight back. Um, it's just not worth it. You're just going to get punished. And the safest option is going to be his X, since it is true from M1s, and it is doesn't have a lot of end lag, doesn't have a lot of startup, so it is true. So it's all right damage as well. So all that culminated into one, I guess, thing. It is your safest option and your best bet if you're opponent is like Fortera. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it for his base. Moving on to his Awakening. Awakening is going to follow a different premise, well the same premise, four on ones, um, wine smash, but instead of doing more on ones after that, you're gonna follow up with Volar, and that's gonna be 50 damage on its own. So that's 12 damage plus six damage, which is 18, plus your 50, that is 68 damage on its own that is ridiculous right um if your opponent doesn't have a counter i want to clarify if they don't have a counter only if then you can follow up with carpet bomb and again it's just like bomb drop it's not completely true but they can't do anything about it if they don't have a counter so that is also a safe thing that you can do and it's going to do a lot of damage it's pretty inconsistent sometimes it hits like three times sometimes it hits uh, only two four I, I don't know. It's it's a very weird move, but it does a lot of damage. So there's that. You can also do um, M1s into Wine Smash, M1s Carpet Bomb. If you don't have Volar for some reason, you just, like, you just used it raw. So that's also an option. And same as base, you can do M1s into Wine Smash, M1s X, but it's an evasive. So I would recommend you save that for in case you get m one In Awakening, it's an evasive, but I would recommend you save it um, just in case you get hit with an attack. So 
There's that, there's his awakening and base covered. Now moving on to my tips slash counterplay for using slash facing him. Now what are my tips for using Narancha? Now, same as Kakion, you wanna make sure that you're using the barrage, quote unquote, from a mid to long range. Because the good thing about the barrages is, yeah, they have projectile delay. That doesn't mean you should be using them right up in the opponent's face, because you can get punished. It's unlikely, but you can. So you wanna to stick to the mid range, long range when you're using the barrages. Um, bomb drop, I would recommend you roll while you do it so that you can get really close to your opponent and they're just gonna get hit by it. They can't do anything about it. Um, so there's that. Um, wine smash, I would recommend that you just make sure you're doing, you're, you gotta make sure you're not doing it in an awkward spot. Make sure you're comfortable using the move because the hitbox is pretty small. So you gotta make sure you're precise with where you're aiming. His four, I would recommend to be careful using it against good opponents because it has decent startup um, and it, it's, it has an audio, audio cue. So anyone who's a decent player, like 100 and above, they're gonna be able to pick that out and they're gonna PB it. So that's why I would be careful against good players when using that move. You'll see in the upcoming match that I actually intentionally, well not upcoming, the, the gameplay you're seeing right now, you see I intentionally miss the move because I don't want him to PB it. After I saw him PB it once, I'd make sure he doesn't do it again. Um, and then you have get um, fight back. Just make sure you're not using that move against people with TP dash um, because of the fact that, well, as you may or may not know, the move has a lot of end lag, as I've already said in the combo section. So be careful with doing that. And his X, just use it as a combo ender. You can't use it raw, but it doesn't have a glutch hitbox, so you, you might end up screwing yourself over. Be careful with it. Okay, now moving on to his awakening tips. Now with Awakening, I would recommend you try not to randomly use Carpet Bomb, or if you do, make sure you use it after your opponent rolls and you, you know where they are, because it doesn't have a wide hitbox. It has a very, the hitbox extends forward, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not very wide. So you wanna make sure you're being careful with that. And also I would recommend that you don't use Volar Raw. The hitbox isn't too crazy, but if you're desperate, it's there as an option. Um, don't forget his X is an evasive, so use it as such. I recommend you save it. Don't use it as a combo ender anymore. Um, and again, just use your a barrage, quote unquote, mid to long range. Don't use it up close because it's not true and you will get punished. Don't use M1 strings. And one last thing I forgot to add is his four. Um, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but in Awakening, it is, it's, pretty situational i you could say it's a guard it, guard it breaks guard but it's only really used for punishing and lags since it only connects if your opponent literally is just standing there doing nothing so it's only really good for end lag it has decent tracking like it covers a long range so if your opponent does like a bad attack from a long range and they're in end lag like the barrage for instance for like kakyon and arancha you could use the move and it will connect. So there's that. But uh, aside from that, I would recommend using it in a close range since it has end light. And yeah, with that, that is it for his tips. Moving on to the counterplay. Now, with um, using Narancha, well, fighting Narancha, he is a character that really is hard to, he's not really hard to fight, but he just has a really strong moves. So his one, you need to make sure you're holding block. You see his Aerosmith come out and there's no audio cue, hold block. And you may say, bro, it breaks guard. Nine, t I've never seen Narancha break someone's guard from doing it. Unless you literally stand there and take all the bullets, then of course it's gonna guard break. But you need to make sure that you're strafing, turning your body a little bit so you're the bullets are missing a little bit. Um, moving to the left, moving to the right, so the bullets are missing, and you should be fine. You're not gonna get hit by all the bullets. You're not gonna get guard broken. Trust me, I've never done it to anyone. No one's ever done it to me. It never happens unless you you just literally become a block dummy. Um, his bomb drop, um, you kind of have to expect it. If he rolls towards you, you probably should already roll backwards because he's likely gonna do the move and it's unreactable, unpeblockable. So that's just something you need to look out for. Um, 
or or dodge to the left or the right. Now with um, his three, you can't do anything about it. And there's a bug actually. I just want you to take note of this. Sometimes you get hit with it multiple times because the hitbox, well, the move stays with Narancha for a couple of seconds too long. So he's able to do wine smash and they stack onto his attacks. So he's doing six damage M1s for like three of his M1s after he uses it. So that's the bug. You need to be careful of that. So really make sure you're not getting hit by M1s. And um, yeah, his four, I would recommend that you just get used to P blocking it. It's a really easy move to P block, but you just have to get used to the audio cue and the timing of when the attack actually comes out. If you can, you it's such a good thing to just basically lock him out of one of those moves. If he does it, he's gonna get P blocked. It's just like Ponerif, um Chariot Thrust, I believe. It's If you can get the timing to P block it, it's amazing because he just can't use that move anymore against a good opponent. Um, his get a, a fight back, as I've already discussed several times, has a lot of end lag. So if he, you see him do it, I'd recommend that you roll towards him and then try to land a move on him or use a projectile. He's not going to be able to do anything. And if you have TP dash, immediately um, dash towards him. So yeah, that is it for his base. Moving on to Awakening. Don't, for the love of God, don't get M1. I already told you. 68 damage from one, no, two moves. 68 damage, don't get M1s, please don't. Try to avoid it, try to not be very predictable, try to not do your fifth M1. Just don't do anything really stupid to get you to take a whole Volar, right? Do not walk forward, make sure you're strafing left and right, left and right when you, I, that was my phone, sorry. When you expect Carpet Bomb, just actually don't know. Just make sure you're dodging to the left and the right almost constantly so you're not getting hit by Carpet Bomb. Because if you do, that's going to be 45, 30 damage that you're going to be taking. And that sucks. <laughs> Trust me. Um, I would know. I use the character. Um, his 4, again, same thing as base. Just get used to the PB timing. Um, his 1, same as base. Make sure, just make sure you're blocking when you see no audio cue and his stand pop out. And make sure you're strafing a little bit so that you're not taking all the bullets and you end up getting guard broken like a moron. And maybe not even try to go for combos like that against him. Or if you do, make sure you just quickly finish them off with like a grab or something like that. Because he has the evasive. And yeah, with that, um, that covers his tips, counterplay, and combos. Moving on to my gameplay using Narancha. Now, if you're a common viewer on this channel, you would know that my favorite my favorite character to fight in this game is probably Fordoro. In the beginning, I was AFK in this match, so I got like 30 damage. And he messed up his TS combo, so he did a little bit more damage, but it wasn't anything crazy because, uh, yeah. Um, I tr got the barrage off. For some reason, he unblocked. I think he maybe tried to get close and use a counter, which was smart, but he should have gotten a little bit closer before he did that. Um, if you don't know, my favorite character to fight in this game is Fordoro. They just have a really solid kit that's simple. And isn't too crazy to fight but um dang that was a good time stop but they can do a lot of damage if you make constant mistakes and you don't pick up on theirs so you see he did a bad counter i did a combo and then i'm gonna do fight back and you'll see why i say don't do this against people with ts dash because he could just immediately do that i couldn't even do anything out of it i didn't have bomb drop to punish him or anything like that so that sucks but you can do that and follow up with bomb drop but yeah um oh i actually connected nice so that was a pretty good punish on my part um but he did get blitz strike off really solid move so the lead is pretty large right now um i did connect four on a bad barrage but i should have used bullet rain that would have been better damage for with barrage he's not going to be able to punish me as i'm backing off while i use bullet rain trying to keep him at a mid to long range so that is good that was a bad um bullet drop and a pretty good projector on his part he did get the m1s and the blitz strike combo off but i did walk out of his barrage and i punished him with my four so that was great try to get a bullet rain off on him but nothing crazy it's basically unpunishable because the end lag is pretty short well not it's not short it's just projectile delay he did drop a counter because he was desperate and mm, i got to punish it well so there was that, he landed his projectile, took a little bit of damage, and he got to, that was a terrible block. Um, I knew he was in, when I was fighting, I, in my brain I'm like, he's gonna time stop. 
but for some reason I blocked. I, I just wasn't confident in my M1 since uh, he doesn't really have normal stand M1s. I did get bomb drop off to so because I didn't want him to punish me. I tried to do the same thing with my four and that didn't work. Right now I have no guard break, so I need to be careful. I'm throwing out bullet range just so I can get him to back off on me. He's strafing a little bit to the right, but you see it he is still ways away from getting guard broken. So all the people complaining about oh Narancha is uh, OP breaks guard. No. And oh I actually did it. And I didn't use bullet rain. Like that that's your main punish if your opponent does a mistake. Um oh that was terrible because I already did two on ones, it didn't reset. Um if your opponent whiffs a barrage, you should use bullet rain. Cause that's probably your best instance to do it. So there's that. Um that hitbox, see that get off, you should only really use it as a combo ender since the hitbox is pretty whack, as you can say. Um Bullet rain, he's not going to be able to get close to me because of projectile delay. It's a really solid, but I did get a guard break on him, so I'm going to do M1s into that, and then I'm probably just going to end off with an M1. Or I'm going to use that. Maybe I'm going to use get off. Oh, we killed him. Okay. Um, He's probably going to TP dash into time stop again. Yep. Because he does, does that pretty common. You have to pick up on that stuff against fighting for the row. And now that his projectile bullet rain, bullet rain. What am I doing? Like, th that all would have been so much damage. But it, it connected, it's fine, I guess. But could have been probably more. I did get him in a corner here, so I'm able to get M1s into that off. And I think he maybe used Blitz Strike and messed up. I missed my four, but it's cool. He used Time Stop and I didn't roll. He's trying to do that combo. I don't know why people do that. It's not true, but I was dead anyway, so. Well, it's not. It is true, but it's just not very consistent when you could just do, like, Form ones and then blitz strike, or uh, not form ones blitz strike. You just use your bearing. Um, the projectile delay makes just you can't really do much. That was such a good play. I even said web played here. Yeah, I forgot that he did that. Yeah, I said WP. That was really smart. He knew like, okay, I'm not gonna be able to TP, TP dash out of this, so I'm just gonna use my counter and punish him because the startup it has a pretty decent hitbox now. And he used time stop. I don't know what I was doing really, but uh, yeah, and I'm just gonna die from to this basically. I'm just gonna try to live as long as possible. Somehow, thank God that missed, so I'm able to do M1. Just gonna finish off the combo with that. I could also use my X, but uh, that did not work out. I don't want to lose my second stock, so I'm just gonna try to whittle him down as much as possible. He missed those um, his guard breaks, so he has nothing currently. I'm just trying to keep him at base so he doesn't hit me with another time stop that I'm basically not gonna be able to react to because his awakening TS is really OD. Um, tried to hit him with the four, but I think all the projectiles missed in uh, in time stop, so that kind of sucks. Probably gonna use my two. Um, it all missed because it didn't extend far enough. I'm gonna use my bullet rain finally to finish him off. Um, and he's gonna be at three stocks. It's three stocks. I'm at 50 HP. Well, he's at two stocks, but 50 HP. Um, I'm just gonna try to get some damage off if possible. I'm not trying to take anything, not going into time stop, not playing overly aggressive. Um, tried to hit him with the four, but you see, he just he dodged it. He booked it over here he unluckily got that barrage on me so that sucks i took in so much damage just like that um probably i'm gonna panic volar i'm very scared and i'm gonna immediately follow up with the two and that's why you don't do that because he can immediately counter if i didn't do that i could have did m once in the three and then i could have used carpet bomb and then he immediately time stops me he misses because whatever but he dashes and uses blitz strike he I missed the attack somehow, but I've already taken 50 HP, and he's about he's about at 50 HP, um, but he still has a stock lead over me, so that kind of sucks. He cancels my bullet rain with his projectile, and that's about it for the game. He's done 75% of my HP. There's no way I'm coming back, but it was a very fun and intense match. A uh, pretty solid player, and it was very fun fighting him and to show off Narancha. It was a really good match. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> All 
All right, moving on to the next match, we have another Narancha. Um, he was all right at the game. This is just really, uh, it was an all right match, but I didn't feel like uh, trying to dig for like a match as good as that Fortero run because there's really no topping that. Um, I, I just love fighting Fortero players. It's really, really fun, um, really, really intense, and they're really solid. It's not like I get touched and I lose 90% of my HP or 70% of my HP. He get, lands a TS, I take a lot of damage. It's fair. So he lands M1s, he does like 50 damage. It makes sense. It's a fair trade. That was pretty solid on his part. I'm not going to be really able to do too much to him besides like try to roll. I don't know what I was doing with that play. I probably should have just backed up because I didn't have any moves to punish him and I don't have TP dash. So there's that. Land the bomb drop, but it's not looking too good for me right now. Actually, oh, I PB'd that. Nice. Okay, so... M1's into fight back. He's not gonna be able to really do much to me either. I'm just gonna roll backwards. Or oh, I use bullet ran immediately. Okay, that's pretty bold. And I finish him off. So I do have a lead. Um, not by much, like 60-ish HP, but still pretty solid lead. I just, I blocked the bullet ran because he doesn't have really good like aim per se. It is important to make sure you're aiming your bullet ran well, not just holding it forward. Um, make sure you're following your opponent's movements so there's that and if you your opponent does miss bullet rain it's also good to like roll for narancha if they do miss you got to make sure you spent mashing roll just in case they like flick and they miss and there's like there's like a half second you're able to roll then it is good because you'll be able to get out of the combo whole block and you're not going to take the rest of the damage so that's really great um i'm trying to just i land a throw out bomb drop did not connect trying to throw out that my aim is not that great or my reaction time for that matter, but he likes to back up. Oh, oh, that landed, okay. So that's good, I canceled his and he blocked mine, so that's fair. I, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. I need to wait for my cooldowns, not just throw out my moves randomly, but there, there you go, that's what happens when you do that. I'm blocking, I'm trying to walk forward, but you see I'm walking straight, so I'm like, okay, let me drift. This is what you, people should be taking raw grab. <laughs> Um, this is what people should be taking note of, right? You need to make sure that you are not just throwing out your moves. You need to make sure that you are not doing your bullet rain close range. That, that's the, like, it's the basic things that really add up in a match. And yeah, I won that interaction. It's kind of just RNG. Um, not come back with the M1. People really complain about that M1, but I didn't really see any issues. In fact, most of the time it was because I didn't mean to do the fifth M1, so it just ends my combo, and that's the only thing, not my only complaint about it, and that's just a, a skill issue at that point. You see I'm strafing, that's just how you abate the barrage. For anyone who's wondering how to counter that move, just do it exactly like me. It's not going to break your guard. It's just not gonna happen. Not sure why I have my headset on. Um, okay. Missed that, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I didn't even, I forgot I had that low HP too. So that sucks. It's a pretty, pretty close game. Two stocks, two stocks. Um, actually that might be three. I can't really see too well right now, but just trying to get M1s off. I did land bomb drop, so that's good. This guy likes to go for raw grabs. I don't He's not like the greatest Narancha, but he need, bro, that is not a good sign. Doing raw grabs, that is disgusting. Mm, yep, you see he's blocking it, he's strafing it, and the rest of it, he got scared. He thought it was gonna guard broken. It, was, it wasn't going to. If he switched up his movement, I wouldn't have been able to guess it. Just wouldn't have been able to even hit his block if he just stopped moving in a followable pattern, which is stand still or going right or going left in the same motion. He landed a fight back, okay. All right, um, not gonna be really able to punish that. I just roll towards him to scare him and then I try to land bullet rain and it does connect. Um, he throws out his bomb drop, does not connect, but he does throw out his four and I don't P block. Actually, I do think I block it, but I got guard broken because I didn't. My PB timing with that move, I wish it's better. I wanna work on that. But um, it's just something that I'm not really 100% yet. Um, that was a pretty smooth, smooth uh, play on his part. But I'm just going to 
immediately do that. I'm not sure why that's a thing, but you, you can do it. <laughs> that is something you can do. Um, you see he's using the barrage, but I used my four last second, so I missed. He misses Volar, so I don't take 50 damage. He missed his four, so he has no... No, he still has Carpet Bomb, maybe? Maybe? I don't remember. I have short-term memory. <laughs> I throw out bullet rain just to get him away from me. I don't really have any point to push him. And I will awaken once I, I'm like under 50 or right at 50. Where I still have a little bit more HP, like 20, before I'm there. Um, he missed his. I throw out bomb drop to punish him. And he can't like accidentally P block it. You see, you can just move to the right and avoid the attack. It's not hard. Um, he still doesn't. Now he really doesn't have a guard break. And it has n -like, so I'm able to combo him. And then I throw out my four. Not entirely sure why I did that, could just use fight back, but whatever. I'm going to awaken just to be safe and end off the match. Well, just get as much damage as possible so he can't make a comeback. He throws out his bullet ring just to stall out my awakening, which is smart. It is smart. It's not risky either. It's a safe play. I did my four um, uh, kind of close range, so that was a pretty bad move on my part, but it didn't. he didn't punish it like I did to him, so it's cool. Probably going to use bullet ring again soon, I would expect. What am I doing? Oh, I landed my four. What? Wow, okay. I used wasted Volar over there. That was pretty bad, but it's a two-time use in Awakening, so that's pretty cool. Um, knocking him back with Bullet Rain. Probably going to try to get some M1s off. Um, and I didn't even realize that you get you get to see your opponent's HP. That's something I, don't, I rarely see um, or pay attention to even. But um, I forgot that in Awakening, the Ratchet can't see HP. That time, my four missed most of the attacks, but I still have a substantial amount of my HP left for my stock, and my awakening is still going. So I'm going to hit him with M1s into that, M1s, and then actually mix up with Bullet Rain. He didn't expect it, and he's going to take the damage and Rage Quit. So that was a pretty good match. GG's well played, and that will wrap up this video. Um... That's about all I have to say for Narancia. I would have to, he was a pretty fun character to use. It, probably the most fun I've had using a character in a long while. Um, aside from like all, going all the way back to the Fordora video. Um, so there's that. Um, I would really recommend everyone get him. He's better than Kakyoin in my opinion. Way better than Mista. And a lot more fun to use than both of those characters. So if you are debating on any of those characters... I would definitely recommend picking up Mista. Um, well, not Mista. Sorry, 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 sorry. Narancha, Narancha. Um, and with that, that'll conclude this video. The next video, I believe the plan is to do Vanilla Ice. So there is that. But um, I'm not entirely sure about that since he's kind of bugged right now. You can do it. But I'm just, I'm going to try it out. But if he's too, like, ridiculously OP and it's just not very fun to fight against or play as him because he's broken then well i'm gonna do another character um so stay tuned for that if you do it did enjoy the video like someone hit that button to see more content like this and without any further ado i'll see you guys in the next video peace